Joining us right now is Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas, a member of the Banking, Intelligence, and Armed Services Committee. We appreciate you joining us. I'll ask you the same question I was asking Mohammed, uh, which was, you know, the president has laid out uh, a strategy to be very tough on China, uh, seems to have been emboldened, really, even in the last several days, uh, given the way things have moved, and yet the stock market, and now we're watching the bond market, move in another direction on him. How do you feel about that, and what do you think the president can or will do? I heard Mohammed El Arian's comments uh, just a few moments ago, and I, I think he was right that we have to look at this not just in the context of the immediate market moves, but the broader and longer term economic picture as well as national security. I believe that's how the president views it as well. I also agree with what Mohammed said that if not now, when? Uh, we have for too long, decades really, allowed China to get away with waging a trade war against us, against our farmers and ranchers and manufacturers, without standing up for them. That's what the president is trying to do right now, uh, and he's trying to get a better deal for the American worker. Um, and if we're all in, the, in this together, I think in the long term, we will be able to get that better deal. At the same time, we protect the security of Americans as well. What do you think is a fair timeline for that, and dare I say, at what cost, given the questions that we do have, uh, about uh, what it means for uh, farmers in the United States and others. Yeah, and I hear those concerns in farm country as well, although our farmers in Arkansas know, for instance, that our products have been discriminated against by China for a long time. We're the largest rice producer in the country, for instance, and China has long had barriers against us. I hope it's a short time frame. I hope it's weeks, not months, or months, not years. But at the same time, we have to recognize that we do have a strong, resilient economy, that China has many problems of its own. It has massive debt. It has a huge real estate bubble. It can't feed its own people. They let the yuan devalue somewhat earlier this week, but then they put the brakes on that because they realize how bad it is for their own consumers and that it raises problems with capital controls as well that they had to introduce just a few, few years back. So simply because China is an authoritarian nation without elections does not mean that they don't face their own domestic political pressures. Senator, uh, we've both spent time with the president. We know that he cares about stock index levels, the, the level of the S&P, the level of the Dow. He tweets about it. Uh, looking at prices this morning, the whipsawing action, we are back to where we were in January of 2018, in fact, below the January highs. Do you not think it will put pressure on the president to resolve the trade dispute in some form or fashion, seeing the levels that we're at right now? Well, I think we have to look beyond the day-to-day -day or even hour-to-hour -hour movements in the market. I know that's important to many Americans who are investors, but the Arkansans with whom I visit, the farmers, the ranchers, the foresters, the manufacturers, they know that for too long we've gotten a raw deal from China, and they support the president's effort to stand up to them. Now, they hope that those uh, disputes are resolved sooner rather than later, but again, if not now, then when? Okay. Uh, Senator, uh, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so very much for joining us.